Jeremy Lightning. Come on in, you old son of a bitch. The weather's fine. Come on down. Thank you. Been a month already? Two weeks. It's always two weeks. Where in the world do I get a month? I don't know. We've never met monthly. Well, whatever. Come on in, stay a while, have a seat. Thanks. So, how are your friends? Is this how we're gonna begin? What do you mean? The court threw out my observations on human suffering because I'm not a psychiatrist. Now a psychiatrist is asking my opinion on how people are getting along. What's up with that, Doc? Have you seen her since my last visit? I know what you want to hear. So I should just tell you so we can get on with whatever we're getting on with. You saying that makes whatever else you say seem less credible. <laughs> Funny. Was my lack of credibility the reason why they're doing the song and dance that we're doing? Let's be less emotional and more constructive, shall we? Less emotional? Less emotional. Now I know you have no idea what you're talking about. How's that? This less distance between the two than you acknowledge. Probably, but an emotionally constructed update of a Section 8 court-ordered report is not beneficial to anyone, especially you. Want a drink? No, thanks. May we? That's right. You don't drink anymore because of that thing. Excuse me, what thing? You know, that thing you don't believe in. Oh, more of this. Here. Please fill this out. And for the record, I never drank. Not that we can prove anyway, right, Doc? Excuse me? Nothing. Just writing that report of yours about that old kook who made mention of shadows that go bump in the night before raving about a car accident that never happened. This is the second time in our meetings that you've mentioned a car accident. A car accident that never happened. Precisely. What is your aim in that? Trying to get you to use more than one side of your brain. Realize that the world you live in is not that different than the world I live in, despite your scientific fluency. And how is a car accident that doesn't exist going to make that happen? Hiding behind the excuse of adolescence and the lack of legal conviction doesn't make it not a thing just because it didn't appear in the courtroom. I'm going to refill your medication. How are you sleeping? Just fine. And your friend? I live alone. That's not what I asked. Isn't it? Raul. Just fine. We're all just fine. And putting you back on Syroquil should also help you sleep. Sounds like you made up your mind even before you asked the question. And if you're planning on not taking your medications, at least have them filled for my sake. Yes, sir. See you in two weeks. See you then. Lunatic. He's just a lunatic. Lunatic. Mr. Meridian. What do we do now? In terms of what? How do we nail him to the wall? I was going to ask you about that, actually. This guy's in our backyard. Something else that doesn't help me sleep. Do we want to nail him to the wall, or do we just want him gone? If we just want him gone, we just call the cops on him over and over until the guy gets a little spooked and leaves on his own. I want him behind bars. 
We just can't leave an anonymous tip to the police unless he's left evidence behind. Understood. Let me see what I can find with the new name. This guy has got to be in file somewhere. This guy is going down. Ooh, I like the zeal. Maintain it. I'll call you when I have something. Ciao. Yes, dear.